Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K23 video. This is literally the video that I've been waiting to drop for you guys in the last week and a half. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background story, but before we get into that, man, I want to show you guys the bill that I want to talk about today. Go ahead and roll the clip. Uh, yep, more, more people to get out of here quickly. Come on. I was hot and out of bounds. Oh, no, no. Uh, good catch. Come to me, come to me. I'm going to cut it. Come on, boy. My boy. Crazy. Good still, boy. Good shot, boy. Crazy. Go crazy. Got this middle. Good still. You got to choose. Nice. You chose to go to the paint? That's so weird to me. That's a, if not, if not, if not a block, that's a foul. I beat the goofy off that man, bro. Mm. Foul me and all that, bro. Oh. I'm going left. If I can get left. What? Yeah. The block. Come on. The task is shut up. Wow. Still. Come on. Come on, man. How fast I gotta hit all my second? You should just hit the analog. <laughs> boy, y'all be move, y'all be moving, oh, boy. I'm saying. It's that corner. Yeah. Shit. Nah, <laughs> like, like I don't know what it is. I don't know what trying angle he be trying to get, but like yeah. But like you be moving out the corner like is he coming corner and it's like bruh just stand still bro let that boy work because then he gonna throw a scary and then it's up. <laughs> For one. Jesus Christ. You good? You like good? I don't know that jumper, bro. You tired as hell shooting that. Is it bored? <laughs> you was tired as hell. I know you were. I just counted every fucking adrenaline that left your body as you was doing the moves. I'm like, boy, that momentum took one. Boy, that 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 burst out of that uh back step took one. Yeah, yeah I did it. <laughs> hey Stain, what's poppin'? You guys gonna jump, gang? Look at that. Man, you beat your ass. I'm down. Never mind. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got a real baller out here. <laughs> Shout that shit. All right, gangy. Shot. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. What's that joint called? The regular small forward joint, bro. Like the regular wing, like type joint, yeah. like. I'm saying that. I'm really a lot for real. Yes, sir. Shut. Yeah, yeah. Still. I didn't coach. Hey. I'm going right. Ooh, good to hit. Yeah. Maybe uh, they was going to get some movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that you guys have seen the bill, man, I'm ready to talk to you guys about it. So for season one, all that I did was grind one specific build. I did not hop back into that builder. I did not make a bunch of different builds. I did not create a bunch of different storylines in my careers. I decided that gym rat, Mamba mentality, and just getting 99 overall and seeing how slashing is, seeing how shooting is, and seeing how passing and dribbling is, and how that actually worked into what I wanted to create for my meta build. Now, of course, a lot of people will probably say, yo, this build is not really that meta. It's, it's impossible for it to be that meta. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's literally everything that everybody else is running around with in the park, in the wreck, in the theater, 
everybody's running around with a 6'9", and yes, a little disclaimer, he is 6'9". Now, as far as my build goes, I wanna be completely clear with you. If you wanna make a 6'9 build, you can make a bunch of different variations of my build. When I call my build the best build, it's the best build for me. When I go into the wreck, there's a possibility I can get nine to 15 steals. There's a possibility that I can go six for six from three. There's a possibility that maybe four to five different teammates can get dunked on at any single time. Also, there's a pretty high chance that I'm gonna probably not break somebody's ankles, but make them look stupid on that reel. Oh yeah, by the way, follow me on TikTok and IG. Links in the description. So let's go ahead and hop into my build. So let's talk about my build. Now I'm gonna give you guys the name because you're gonna see it at the end of this video. It is called a two-way inside out scorer. Now I've been wanting to make this build for about a week and a half, but I had to hold off until I got gym rat specifically because if you created multiple builds during the season one where you were trying to get gym rat on your main build, those builds that you created prior to getting gym rat won't have gym rat on them. Also, if they do have gym rat on them, probably about three days to a week from now, for whatever reason, they may glitch out on you. So I say, before you make your new builds and anybody out there, this is for people that get the game during Christmas. If you get it as a gift, if you get it next year in 2023, whatever, before you make multiple builds, make one build, go to the Gatorade facility every single week, one time get three stars on five different things, get your boost, and after that 25 times, and you get gym rat, start making new builds. Just hoard all the VC you can, because when it's time for you to get back in that lab, you're gonna have the VC to do that, you're gonna have gym rat on them, all the new builds, okay? Second thing, I wanted to make sure that when I started the new season, I will be basically grinding up a new build. Now, I'll show you guys what this build looks like finished, inside of the park and stuff like that. I'll show you my record, all of that. But what I wanted to also do was, I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't go back to my old small forward for any of the challenges during the season. If anybody keeps up with 2K, I'm telling you, it's a grind. But for those who don't, you have to score about 1,500 points in a wreck. You gotta score about, I think like 5,500 or 4,500 points in a park or something like that. Like it, it's, it's some, astronomical like amount of numbers of what you got to get an assist versus points you got to play theater games you got to play park games rec games it's a lot but i'm here to finish it and i want to finish all of it on one bill by the time season two ends this bill will be a 99 overall it will have all of his badges it will be goat status which means i will be finishing games under the goat tier which will allow me to keep my track with legend all right now let's go ahead and just get one thing completely straight Yes, you can make this build under small forward. No, I would not recommend it. And I'm gonna tell you guys why once we look at all of the attributes, okay? So first thing, let me scroll all the way down. Um, like I said, I wouldn't create this specific build as a small forward. I am 6'9", 194 pounds. I repeat, I'm 6'9", 194 pounds. Again, I would not create this build at small forward, okay? Secondly, I have a seven, four wingspan. No, I did not max my wingspan out. Yes, I get on ball steals. Yes, I get pass lane steals. Yes, I get blocks. Yes, I get rebounds. And you probably all see that from the attributes on the side. Now, of course, defined, we all know, defined gives you the most like bang for your buck as far as wingspan go, okay? So when you're creating these builds and you wanna get blocks, steals, rebounds, and stuff like that, go for defined as your build type, okay? Um, let's go ahead and continue. Now, um, I'm not sure if anybody like notices, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to it, but I'm telling you now, slashing, shooting, playmaking, defense, it does its all. Now, I know a lot of other people out there that say, you know, all their 6'9 builds they may have seen on YouTube or played with or created, they'll say, oh, my 6'9 is better. I'm telling you right now, bang for buck, this build gets you everything. All right, so let's go through every single thing. I'm gonna literally, I promise you, I'm not playing around. This is gonna be the most detailed because this build right here is probably gonna be the build that I use for like the next couple seasons 
because I don't feel like creating a big right now. All right. Now you probably asking, why is your close shot 76 only for an extra badge point? Why is your driving layup at 89? I'll show you guys right here. Slithery on gold. I know a lot of people are probably going to think, well, why didn't you just get a 92 driving dunk? Because I don't need a 92 driving dunk. I was able to get slithery on gold by putting my layup higher than my dunk. Yes, I still get a couple posterizers, but I really am here for slithery, limitless takeoff, fearless finisher, and a little bit of posterizer, okay? Like, and of course, with the dunk, why is my driving dunk at 86? For the small contact dunks that I might be getting, okay? Why is your standing dunk at 75? Only for Giannis's dunk package. If you don't want Giannis's dunk package, you don't need it. I wanted it, okay? I wanted it. I wanted it. I want Giannis dunk package, so that's what I went for. Why no post control? Don't need it. Honestly, with this 6'9 build, I was not going to try to max out my post control for Hall of Fame quick first step. Don't need it that much. Why is my mid-range shot a 74? Only for a badge point. Why is my three-point shot a 85? My three-point shot is a 85 because my first build's uh, three-point shot was a 85, and that's where my jump shot comes in. So with me shooting 58 to 60% from the three-pointer in the park, in the wreck, in my career, like I can hit everywhere. I know my jump shot. I know my cue. It's fairly easy to see. It's fairly easy to learn. And that's why I keep my three pointer only at 85. I know other people out there are going to say, oh, bro, you could have went 92 and did this and your movings. And that. I don't worry about all that. I play the way that I play. Okay. Why is your free throw at 78? Only because there was nothing else for me to put in there. I wanted it to be at 77, but they would not allow it. So I had to get that. Why is your pass accuracy 75? LeBron James passing package. The literally only reason that it's at 75 is for LeBron James passing package. Yes, you can go LaMelo Ball. I feel like LaMelo Ball's passing profile is a little bit more telegraphed because mostly everything's a one-handed pass. So he has to pick up the ball with the palm of his hand. And I feel like that's a little bit too telegraphed, especially with builds out there running around with 99 still. So I'm good. Um, why is my ball handle 87? I've been playing with somebody named J. Ron Stackup. And we've been running twos for a minute now for like maybe like the last two weeks. So in order for me to hit the 3K points in the park for the uh, the walking bucket tee, I had to play a lot of twos. And J-Ron helped me grind those matches. And I'm telling you now, his bill has 87 ball handle. He dribbles like a demon. He dribbles not like everybody else. You don't have to dribble like Steezo or learn how to dribble like Steezo. You can learn from other people. And I'm learning from J-Ron, all right? And, and no, he's not a YouTuber. He's just regular bull streaming on Twitch doing his thing. And, and he, he nice with it. You feel me? Um, speed with ball. Why is my speed with ball 75? Because everybody in the community has been making videos and build videos saying that 75 speed with ball is literally the bare minimum of what you need to be efficient when moving with the ball. So that's why my speed with ball is a 75. I didn't make it lower. I didn't make it higher simply at the base minimum because with 75, you can do just about anything you want at six, nine. Why is my interior defense 75 a badge point? Literally, I don't care about post lockdown or anything like that. Literally, my interior defense is only at 75 simply because I wanted to get an extra badge point in defenses. Why is my perimeter defense at 88? Badge point. I only needed it at 87. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So Menace needs an 87 perimeter defense to get it on Hall of Fame. I put mine on 88 because it was an extra badge point. All right. Um, why is my still at 85? Only need a 85 still for silver glove. I can't go no, I can't get a 95 still. I can't get a 99 still. So I decided, you know what? 85 should be good enough. Glove on silver. I don't even have interceptor right now and I get tons of lane stills. So I know when I put that badge on, I'm going to be on even more demon time. All right. Why is my block a 87? Well, let me tell you guys about chase down artists. Chase Down Artist is a badge that a lot of people sleep on. Now, you only need it on 75, but paired with Anchor. Paired with Anchor, you get some of the craziest 
animations when it comes to blocks. I'm talking about LeBron chase downs. I'm talking about swats down the other end of the court, swatting balls out of bounds, swatting balls into the backcourt so your guards with workhorse on Hall of Fame can catch it. It's literally like some of the best pair. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, the speed and acceleration of my build plus anchor on silver and chase down on gold. Oh my God. God, it's crazy. And plus, I get to play hands up. There are a lot of bigs on 2K right now that feel like perimeter defense is broken, but it's only broken because they're not 6'9, they're not fast, they're not agile. They're 7'1, 7'2, 7'3, moving like snails, and they expect Hall of Fame anchor to help them. And it doesn't because they're not fast enough to get from one side of the paint to the other side of the paint. As soon as they put their hands up and they take a big step, they out to play. It's it's just that simple. They're just out to play. That's just how it is. All right. Now, offensive rebound. Why is it at a 30? I don't need it. When I go up, I don't expect to try to get an offensive. I expect to score. I don't expect to get an offensive board. Why is my rebound at a, a defensive rebound at a 70? Because sometimes I play in the paint. And sometimes I might need to box out or get a board over a taller player or over just somebody who thinks they're going to get a board over me. 70 is all you need. <laughs> Literally, all you need. You get, look at this. I get box out beast on silver, right? And I get rebound chaser on bronze. And I get freaking workhorse on Hall of Fame. Those three badges is, is I'm telling, is crazy. So imagine me boxing out, right? Say I box out on the right side and the ball's coming off the left and there's no one there. I'm not going to press triangle. That's rebound chaser doesn't work like that. I'm going to go chase the ball with workhorse off the box out. While that dude behind me is jumping because I boxed him out, he's jumping straight up in the air and I'm running towards the, bo the board with workhorse. Now, if there's a situation where I box out outside of the restricted area, that's what the bronze rebound chaser is for. Maybe the ball comes off short. That'll allow me 6'9", 7'4", wingspan, 75 vertical, to go and get that with rebound chaser just on bronze. It's only to give me the animations I need to succeed. That's why, all right? Now, why just speed on 83? Because I wanted it. Why just acceleration on 80? Because I wanted it. <laughs> why just strength only on 50? Bruh, I'm 194 pounds. I ain't no bully. But I'll be bullying people. You feel me? Now, vertical. Why is your vertical on 75? I put my vertical on 75 simply because I wanted to make sure I get every dunk package that I needed. Quick drops off to Clyde, Giannis, and probably straight arm Tomahawks. That's all like that's all I really need. I don't really need nothing else. Why is your stamina a 92 pile? Why didn't you just make it a 90? Because I couldn't put it nowhere else. It was either a 92 stamina or like an 84 free throw. I was like, I don't need an 84. Carmelo? I'm telling you, Carmelo free throw is the best free throw in the game. Hands down. Shout out to New York Minute because he put me on to that. You feel me? Now, let's go ahead and hit continue real quick, man. Pod, why do you have finishing takeovers only? Because I run a lot of ISO. I got to be fast. And I'm going to tell you right now, easy blow boss finishing moves with the juice perk or accelerator perk. I'm telling you, move like you move like Jesus himself. I'm going to keep it all the way tall. Jesus himself. Now, of course, Pi, let's see, let's see what other takeovers you get. I get all finishing. I get all shooting. I get all locked. And I get rim protection badges for this tape. Yo. Like that. So just imagine me having perimeter badge drop, having freaking interior badge drop and just running around like a demon on on defense i'm playing the two three and i'm everywhere i'm literally playing the triangle by myself you can ask raunchy you can ask chase you can ask jubug you can ask freaking in new york you can ask boom boom you can ask anybody i run with yo like probably really like that season two yes yes and it's because of this bill right here that i'm like that all right now let's go ahead and continue and show you guys the shades Okay, the shades. All right, now I will call myself the fourth ball brother, but I know that's a little bit too crazy. But this is what it plays like it plays like a defender, a scorer, and a passer. That's that's what it plays like. It may not look 
like a slasher, but we all know 2K. With quick drops off one, I don't miss. With being 6'9", I don't miss. I rarely get contested in the paint. People got to catch me first. You know what I'm saying? And if you coming over from the weak side trying to help, because I'm because I'm telling you now, if I'm playing twos and somebody in that left corner, I'm, I'm starting on the right hash with my offense, not the middle. So if you coming over and you trying to help, I'm dotting the corner every time because I'm still a passer. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let's go ahead and test the build out. And I'm going to show you guys the badges that I would recommend for this build. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put them up. All right, now, um, the badges that I recommend. So, boom. Let's see where we, boom. Uh, let's see, boom. And where we, boom. And boom. And protest. Just for, just for those nice little, like, dunks and stuff like that. Now, um, that's finishing, all right. Um, we're gonna go, boom. We're gonna go, boom. We're going to go boom. We're going to go tear lock and where is it? Um. Oh yeah. Boom. Boom. And then it was. Camp. Okay, so these are the shooting badges that I would recommend for this build. We don't need to talk about the badges because you should already know. All right. All right. Playmaking. I love, I love it. I love being a playmaker. All right, let me see. Clamp breaker, one goal. <laughs> uh, handles for days. Um, and it was one badge left. Oh yeah, floor general. Okay. All right, now of course this is playmaking. We don't need to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But of course, a few seasons away, and I'll have needle threader. All right, just just a couple seasons, just about three seasons. I'll have needle threader. I really don't need it, honestly. Not with LeBron's package, but it's always good to have. You know what I'm saying? My pads don't really get um so a lot of midair. Um now, uh, this is where things get a little crazy, okay? This is where things get absolutely bonkers, bro. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Intercept. Where is it at? Oh. Love. Challenger. And the last one that I had was box out beat. Now, the way that I made my build, I have five more badge points already on defense for my build. My build has 25, and I'll show you in a moment. So, of course, those five will go to Rebound Chaser. All right, remember I told you, Box Out Beast, Rebound Chaser, um, Workhorse, it's, it's really all you need. I know a lot of people are going to say, bro, why don't you go Clemson Interceptor? I already stole the ball like I'm on the juice. Okay, so that's all I really need. But let's go ahead and back all the way out and I'll show you guys what my build actually looks like, okay? Now, just to let you guys know, the new season started Friday. It is now Monday the 24th, okay? My build is already a 94 overall. Yes, you've seen the creation. You've seen the creation date. You see, You see everything. I don't lie. I don't lie in my videos. <laughs> That's not what I'm here to do. I don't lie to you guys. All right. Check out my defensive badges. They're freaking maxed, guys. They're maxed. I made this build for day one of season two. All of my defensive badges are maxed. I don't lie in my videos, bro. Trying to tell y'all <laughs> this build is a demon. All my slashing badges maxed. I don't lie in my videos, chat. I, I really don't. I don't do this to y'all. Y'all know me. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. I don't lie. I don't just make my career builds. I don't just make my park builds. I don't just make rec builds. I make all around builds that you can have fun with. That's what I make, bro. That's why I'm here, bro. No, no, check this out. Badges, right? I have zero available, right? Let me see. Now, we got Menace on Gold, Glove, Workhorse, Chase Down, Challenger, and I'm working on Coring Anchor. I don't lie to y'all, bruh. 
Anchor is almost cord on silver. I've had this bill for four days. I've only had this bill for four days. Four. He's already almost anchored on cord. <laughs> Come on. Cord anchor on silver. Almost done. Rebound chaser is in my future, bro. Box out beast is in my future, bro. Come on. Chat, listen. Y'all think I'm playing, bro. Look a glove. Look at glove. Only got an 85 still, bro. Look at glove, bro. Uh, I could just imagine what Interceptor would be on if I had that badge. Because I'm getting on ball steals. So just imagine what I'm like in them lanes, bro. I'm telling you, I'm on demon time. Now check out the badges. I don't lie to y'all about my badges, bro. I'm only reason I don't have slithery on goal is because I still got to put my layup up. Oh, and guess what? About that layup. I'm a 95 overall max, right? How about we do that right now? How about we just do that right now? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, I don't lie about my badges, bro. I just don't lie about my badges. This, this is me. This is, this is me. The most authentic me. Now, I had special delivery on and floor general on simply because I had to help somebody grind with alley oops. You know what I'm saying? Stacks Montana. I'm, I'm happy that you got your mobile one jersey, by the way. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. But chat, this all this is literally all I need, bro. Literally all I need. And and plus, look, peep this, right? I take this off. Let me see. Take this off. You know what I'm saying? Take this off for the moment. Chat. Clamp break on silver. I don't need hyperdrive right now. I don't need hyperdrive right now. I'm going to core clamp breaker. I'll I'll get back to hyperdrive. But I just been waiting to, to, to get back to tier three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm already tier three in almost all of my badges. And look, I'm almost tier three badges with my shooting. I got eight badges equipped here and six equipped here. I'm almost there. Only need one more badge to go ahead and put dead eye on or catch or shoot on. I'm, it's probably going to be catch and shoot simply because that's going to be the one I'm going to try to core. But, but chat, I don't lie about these builds, bro. I don't lie about these bills. And also, let me see. It's been it's been a little hard trying to learn this new jumper and all of that. By the way, I'm almost GOAT status with this build, too. I'm almost GOAT status with this build. Now, um, let me see. One loss record. No. Where's the... Okay. Is this it? All right. So, check this out. 17 games played in a wreck with just this new build. Just literally, because we this is how you can tell how I've been playing with this new build. Because this is the one that re all the rec stats reset as soon as season two started. I've played 17 games. I have over 300 points. I'm 84% from the free throw. I'm almost at 50% from three just simply because I didn't have any shooting badges yet. I didn't have all my shooting badges. I'm 67% from the field, 82 win percentage, 26 rebounds. 26 rebounds. I'm going to say again, I'm playing the two, three, and I'm up top and I'm still getting boards. I have 38 steals. I have more steals than I have rebounds. Yeah. I turned the ball over a lot. It's, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a difficult, you know what I'm saying? Time, but you know, turnovers will come and I have 45 assists. I have six blocks and I, and I, I found a couple people, but this is how you can tell what this build looks like on paper and what you can imagine it can do all right now, now like i said you know what i'm saying i'm not here to tell you to make this build or nothing like that but this is the ipod king carter official meta meta build for 2k23 all right so for the rest of nba 2k23 this will be the guard that i go to I won't be on none of the smaller guards, the 6'3s, the 6'4s, the 6'2s, the 6'1s. I won't be playing with none of them. I'm coming in 6'9 because I like the way that this build plays. If you have a 99 still and you come up against me, I understand. You can spam. I do completely. And, and I'm not going to say that that doesn't take any skill because in some instances, the way that I dribble, it does take skill to, to steal the ball from me because I'm simply moving so much and trying to get you to reach and bite one time so I can take off. And if you rip me with a 99 still, it's a little bit of skill to it. But I know what a lot of other people are going to say. Bruh, it don't take no skill. It don't. <laughs> I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
if you enjoyed your time here definitely hit the like button also if you guys want to make this build let me know what you think of this build inside the comment section of this video also follow me on social media i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram i'm on twitter i'm on facebook gaming i'm on twitch i'm everywhere just go to ipodkingcarter.com and start clicking the links to follow up and i will see you guys in the next video man um if you guys want to watch me stream every day i will be live on facebook gaming as well as twitch all right i'll see you guys in the next video man peace King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong.